Hi, this is Richard Byrne. In this video, we're going to take a look at the new image options in Google Forms. This is a really exciting feature that a lot of people have asked about over the years, and finally Google added it. And that's the option to add images as question prompts or as answer choices. So let's set up a question here. Now you can add your image right here as part of the question prompt. So let's say you want to have a diagram and you have kids answer questions about the diagram. You could do that. Or you can go in here and you can hover over option one and now put in your answer choice. And you can upload a picture. All right, so let's go and grab a picture here from my desktop. We'll put in that picture of an orange. And there's option one. All right, now let's add another one. Just click on the option two. And again, we'll repeat this. Right. So we'll now put in another picture. There's a picture of the apple. Right. And we'll do one more, option three. And again, upload that picture. Now, if you want to shuffle these around, just like any other uh, Google form, you can just click and drag and shuffle your option choices. Okay. Now, if we want to make this a quiz, we go into the settings. We select quiz option, make sure that's turned on. We can give kids responses immediately after, or feedback immediately after their submissions. Okay. And let's set our answer key. And so that's our answer key. And let's give it uh, a five point value. And we can even go in and put some feedback if we want to. And we might just say something like try again. And so there's my sample form. And now let's check it out and see how kids would see this. So I'll take that link there. And so this is how it's displayed to my students. Right? Which of these is not like the other? And they go in and they select their option. And they submit it. And they can then click on view score. And they can see their scores there. So that's how you can add images to your answer choices in the new version of Google Forms. For more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetech4teachers.com.